Hi everybody, this is Susan over at Poor Girl Art and today I would like to show you how I created the Hollow Center Geode Painting for Robin Moore over at Robin Moore Arts. And here you can see I've got a canvas with a hole in it. And how I did this was I took foam core board and I stacked it up and glued it to the back of the canvas, weighted it and let it dry overnight and then I cut the hole out after it was dry. And here I'm putting packing tape on the back of the canvas. I don't want my resin and other things to fall through. So I'm simply putting some packing tape on there and that will prevent anything from falling through the canvas. So I decided I wanted to add more interest to the top of my canvas. Um, so I'm going to cut out the top layer of my foam core board uh, using my craft knife here you can see it the canvas is kind of tough but once you break through it it's pretty easy to cut so here I'm holding my blade at about a 45 degree angle and I'm cutting it back and this will create another layer so that when I start to put my gems in um, I'll have I can put them in the center and then I'll have a little le at ledge so I can build them up and put them on the ledge as well So after I got the edge cut off the way I wanted it, now I need to seal this foam core because foam core is a very porous material. The center of it is foam. And if I just were to pour resin into this, the resin would just soak into the foam and just never seal. It would just keep soaking in. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using some white acrylic paint and it's just plain white and I am sealing up these edges and this is just the first coat and here I've noticed that my canvas has come loose in one little spot and I'm showing you there with my tweezers there's a little gap there between the canvas and the foam core and that needs to be adhered back down before I move on and do anything else. So this is my Instacure glue. Um, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of it in that hole. And then I'm going to press down with my fingers to stick the canvas back to the foam core board. And this glue dries really, really quickly. It's a great little glue. Um, as far as I know, the only place you can get it. I'm also going to add some metallic silver. And again, this is just to add interest to the piece. It will also add some I'm going to do next is when I do geodes I like to draw out just a rough idea of what I'm going to do as far as the different colors. So you can see here I'm using my pencil and I'm just drawing out some rough shapes and I won't follow this exactly. We all know resin has a mind of its own. I like to plan a little bit as far as what I'm going to do and the size of the rings that I'm going to make and what basic shapes. And I didn't quite like the way that looked so because I've primed and prepped my canvas very well I can just erase it and fix it. And that's something I hadn't talked about at the start of this video. It's really important to prep your canvases properly. And even if you buy the pre-primed canvases, that's really not enough. You need to prime and prep your canvases. And incidentally, I also prime the back of my canvases. They get two layers. 
Um, not usually gesso because we all know gesso is a little pricey. So here we are and I've let this piece dry for a few hours. I'll let that paint dry really well and I'm ready to move on to my next step. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix some of my favorite glitter. This is the Recollections. Um, it's a chunky glitter and it's mixed. It's a uh, champagne and silver mixed together and I'm going to take a small container and just put some regular PVA glue in it. That's just white school glue is all it is. This stuff dries clear so it's perfect for this and I'm going to mix in some glitter with my PVA glue. Now you can put your glue down and just sprinkle the glitter over it I tend to like to mix my glitter right into my glue for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's less messy and it wastes less glitter. And second, when you are working with resin, if your glue is not suspended in your adhesive, any little bits that are a little bit loose can float around in the resin. And for this particular part, of the geode that I'm working on. I do not want my glitter to float away. So I want to make sure it is stuck down really, really well. And you can see I'm just stirring it in with a paintbrush. And guys, you don't need good paintbrushes for this. Go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Get the cheap ones on sale. That's all you really need to, to do this sort of thing with. So now I'm just going to spread it out over the parts that I had painted in the metallic silver earlier. Here's a close-up of that, guys. You can see it. You can see in the center, I've already added some white glitter to the center. So now I have got my extreme, extreme Glitter paint at back out. This is Extreme Glitter in white. I'm going to use this just to paint the next ring in my geode. Again, this is just to add a little something to the under, to go under the resin. Some of my first layers on this geode are going to be transparent color. So I want to make sure there's something nice underneath the layers. So now that I've got the, the uh, glimmer on, that's given my glue a little time to set up. So here you can see I've started adding some clear crushed rock marbles to the center of my geode. And this is where having that tape underneath has really come in handy because that bottom row is really just stuck to the tape. And now I'm continuing to add some detail. I'm going to add a few in. And I won't put all of them on until I start to pour resin. This is just kind of the preliminary work. Because that glue is still wet, it will help hold those gems in place without the need to use hot glue.
and now I'm starting to place a few pieces into the silver glitter and again that glue is still still nice and wet um, it's just started to dry a very little bit so I've got plenty of time to get my stones embedded in it and now I'm also adding some of my Ashlands crushed glass um, it's mirror on one side white on the other and this, of course, I get at Michael's. And I'm going to add that to the outside edge of my glitter and just kind of push it in and tap it into that glue to hold it in place. And here I'm picking some of the crushed glass off the bottom of the container. You'll get a fine dust at the bottom. Be sure and wear gloves if you use this part of the crushed glass. Um, it is safety glass, but there can be some little sharp points, and you can cut your fingers on this. I've done it many times myself. So you just need to be a little careful. So that's it for this layer, guys. I'm going to show you a close-up. And all this is going to dry, and I'm going to leave this to dry for a couple of, couple of days at least. Let that glue get really good and dry before I start to add my resin, which will be in the next step.